Ladies and Dooms, welcome! This is CCW Fight of the Valkyries! Thank you very much Nelson Rahi, I am here with you in the commentary booth. Ladies and Dooms, it is my sincere pleasure to be back here in commentary in a hot seat here once again at CCW. And if you're wondering why there's such a low turnout this evening, then it's a nearby earthquake has caused a uh, whole river to implode. Tragic, tragic day here in North Wales. But nevertheless, those who have made it were grateful. Final winners from um, Miss Roxy and Violet O'Hara yes. and Ruby Summers. Uh, and this is for the final one. This is the, the, the Northwestern qualification. So the winner of this match goes into the tournament proper. That's right. And here's our first lady of the evening. It is one of, we've seen her before. She's one of the best wrestlers, women wrestlers in, in the game today. She's only young, but she's very excited. It's Lucy Sky. Lucy Sky is someone that I have a great amount of respect for because she's extremely talented, really hardworking, comes with a wonderful reputation. And I think you'll see that today. It's the third time we've seen her here at CCW. She uh, she won her last match against this her, her opponent actually this evening, way back in oh, November November 2015. November, yeah. Sorry, my memory isn't what what it used to be. It's all those suplexes. I should stop eating them. Yes. crowd enjoying this intro music. I am too, let's be honest. Uh, you are a big fan of... Uh, yes, what's the yes. character of the man who sings this? Uh, a man? <laughs> well, there is a lady at the moment. There is a man behind it. I think it's... I thought Bulldog, but I think it's Pitbull. Shows the Shih Tzu. It could be Shih Tzu. Let's go I think the Shih song is Shih Tzu, let's face yes, it. Yes, it is. There's... Um, have you seen Pitbull? No, he's not a, recently. Not seen, well, basically, he's a man. He's a bald man. He looks like he's middle aged and he shouldn't be rapping, but he's rapping now. Well, he's like a gang, like like a New York mafia man who got you know, who uh, who uh, no one's willing to tell him that he shouldn't be a middle aged man. Yeah, rapping. Tony, why do, why do you do you disgrace your family? It's gonna be a bit weird for everyone because they can't hear this. They're just hearing the dub. But uh, there we go. Yeah, this is uh, Jamie Sparks. Jamie of course. Sparks, legendary she, wrestler. She's the youngest and current reigning. Women's RWA champion. That is some accolade, honestly. It's RWA is yeah, 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 a, totally. a company that everyone respects. You know, Andy Baker. Yeah. He's such a. Wee. He's such a. He's such a well-respected man. And you can see the products of RWA. I mean, everyone who comes out from there is a well-grounded, extremely good wrestler. And uh, Jamie Sparks is another one of those. Yeah, definitely. And, and look at her new gear. It's awesome. super shiny. It is super. She's like a Power Ranger. She's badass. No, she's the pink Power Ranger. She is. Oh, and a shake of the hands. I like there. it. That's nice. Bit of respect there. Uh, let's get it going. This is CCW Fight of the Valkyries. And the Folk Vanguard And trophy. they knock up. Oh, no. Neither woman taking advantage there. So I love this. All women wrestling tournament. Lucy Sky not wearing knee pads. Oh, oh she takes it down. down. Straight for a pin. Two only. Only a two, Lee. Oh, trip, sir. That's a bit. Oh, right just off. a one. Too quick. And you might know Lee. He's one of the CCW crew. And he's identifiable by his CCW crew t shirt, which is his surname as well. Nice. You may have not known that. Off the ropes. Oh, and a big shoulder bar. Takes shoulder it down. Sparks. Runs over. Sky. Off the ropes. Goes to the clothesline. Ducks the back elbow. What's this? Oh my! Oh, oh. that is fantastic from Jamie Sparks. That hurricane Run. runner and a cover one, two, and a kick out. How are these two not in the tournament proper? Explain that to me. Well, I I don't wish to. This this could be the final. This I really thought this would be the final. Massive shoulder charge. It should be. Sky. You know, there can only be one. Whew, missed that massive look oh, and big and elbow. elbow ducks underneath sky big drop kick drop kick just about caught her caught just enough one oh just two only maybe if that drop kick you feel if that had been right in the jaw maybe that might have been a three but it was more of a glancing blow that time it was definitely a glancing blow caught her just double, caught her in the arm double really. chops to the stomach I like that something about sting there What's there's this? nothing wrong with chopping a man in the stomach or a woman oh, oh. reverse that suplex lovely suplex takes her over that was a, a meaty suplex as well, wasn't it? You know, the real impact on that. As You're parts. a meaty suplex. Why, thank you. At least that's what I like to think. I'm, I'm flattered. Massive clothesline from Sky. 
a massive running elbow. Lucy what's she Sky, going for now? Up to the second turnbuckle. What's she got in mind here? Oh, oh. crossbody one, two. Oh, Sparks. I thought, you just... know what? She got the cross out the crossbody quite low. Yeah. And I think if she caught that flush, again, that could have been all she wrote. Irish whip now into the tumble. Follows oh. it up with a massive forearm shot. Sky, oh, the Sparks right behind her oh, with a forearm. Her own. forearm shot of her own. These two just trading blows now. That was into the neck. If she had... oh. oh, wow. Jamie Sparks. That's just taking advantage of. Uh... That was uncharacteristically cheaty of uh, Sparks. Would you say? Uh, no. no, not it's not as uncharacteristically cheaty, but I feel that you know, if as a wrestler, you you grab a wrestler's flailing arm, so why not have flailing hair? Whoa! Oh. Holy lord! She just did a suicide dive through the middle of rope. Mason Toons, what on earth? Holy smokes! Jamie Sparks just took it up a notch there. That is crazy. And that this yeah, might be all. You. One, two. Oh, uh, she kicks out. Ah, she kicked out. She kicked out. Who said that once? Was that Tony Giovanni? Who I was hope that? So. It sounds like Gorilla Monsoon the way you do it. Well, I, I, people do say I sound like Gorilla Monsoon at the best of times. You used to call me Gorilla. Massive chops to the stomach. Oh, big glancing oh. ball that time. No ducks underneath. Turns the arm oh, oh, he defeat. You can, you <laughs> oh, can dislocate goodness. the shoulder that way. One, two. Oh, that That's is it. all she wrote. Jamie Sparks there takes the win. And she will go through to the tournament proper. She enters the tournament and she will take on Ruby Summers in the next round. And that, we're going to see that later on this that, evening. I tell you what, I cannot wait for that. I've seen a little bit of Ruby Summers in other uh, federations and she's brilliant. But, uh, well, this was a great match. That suicide dive through the middle rope, that was something else. That was crazy. That's Jamie nice. Sparks showing some serious talent. Oh, there, there you go. And sports a shake of the hand. hand. Uh, you can see the bond between these two. That is, I love the sign of respect there. These girls will always be friends, I have no doubt. So a word for Lucy Sky as well, who's an extremely talented wrestler. But Jamie Sparks goes through. And this is CCW Fight of the Valkyries. These guys are duking it out for the chance to lift the Fog Vanguard trophy. There can only be one Nelson right here. There can only be one. So they can. And you know what? The, it's got to be stacked against Jamie Sparks. She's got three matches this evening now. Yeah, that's true. Is she, is she going to be able? To, if she gets through to the final, that is. Do you think that's going to be possible? I don't think it is. <sighs> well, it's a tough call. Tough for anyone. Hell yeah! I should hope so. There's loads more matches to go. <laughs> if you're not, then you've come to the wrong show. If you come for the knitting, it's next Saturday. Ah, oh, that fair feckin' town hall knitting festival. Well, there's no need to be offensive. Sorry. Well, Mason Toombs, this tournament continues. So this is the tournament proper now. Yeah, this is the first semi-final. It's Miss Roxy. I think... Little Miss Roxy coming down. She's ringside here and she's refusing to meet any of the fans. Well, quite happy to get in their faces here, but refusing to meet any of these fans. Well, I don't know what that says. But, well, loser signs there for that young man. Don't take that to heart. Actually, maybe take it to heart. I don't know. It's not nice. Little Miss Roxy here in CCW. Another awesomely talented wrestler. You know, comes with a wonderful reputation. We're privileged to have all these people here in CCW tonight. You heard the ring announcer folks, it's Violet O'Hara and this is going to be an awesome match. Little Miss Roxy versus Violet O'Hara. This is the first semi-final of the Fight of the Valkyries All Ladies Wrestling Tournament. Oh, 
Wow, Violet O'Hara coming at me, the fans, and all of them are very receptive to her. And it looks like Lil Miss Roxy just come and sat at ringside, completely left the ring, just showing complete disrespect. But not that that's going to do anything to Violet O'Hara, she's just going to carry on with her normal wrestling game. I'm sure she's come with a game plan here tonight. Oh, Roxy just sees fit now to just stalk the ring with Violet O'Hara in the middle of it. Oh dear, well, that's chicken chance going up here for Little Miss Roxy due to her refusal to get in the ring right now. And Violet O'Hara looks ready. She's ready to go, but just seeing as Little Miss Roxy, I don't know, she's, uh, I'm not, she's just a bit hesitant here to get in the ring. Seems to be a bit uh, distracted here by the crowd. To be fair, if someone, if a crowd are chanting chicken at you, that, that's not going to... Oh, here we go. Yeah, she's finally got into the ring now. D cloaks. Very respectfully, throws a right tire at the referee. And the bell rings and this match is a go. This is a semi-final. For the Folk Vanguard Trophy. It's CCW, Fight the Valkyries. I'm Chocolate Payne, Nelson Rahi. As these two hook up. And... Roxy just has that arm. Oh, look at this. Wonderful from Violet O'Hara. She spins away out of that. Fantastic. Goes behind now. That side headlock. These two just trying to fight. Oh, that's brilliant. Roxy just turns that headlock around. As O'Hara just tries to get the crowd going. Get some momentum here. Get some energy in the room. Just trying to break that move. Bending Roxy backwards here, look at this. Almost a test of strength here. Oh, wow, face right off the mat that time. And again, whack. Just <laughs> very uh, just brutal basically, smacking someone's face off the floor. Final O'Hara in control at the moment, but these two back up. Side again. Up, turns that one around. Goes right behind. A higher reaching side headlock from Lewis Roxy. Trying to squeeze the life out of her this time. Oh, Hara slips out of it. Misses with the back elbow. It's brilliant for Bala Hara. I've read that really well. Uh, Roxy holds onto the ropes. Miss with the clothesline drags the hair back. But O'Hara just seems to be a step ahead in this one so far. As little Miss Roxy just makes her way out of the ring completely. Right down to the floor. And the crowd just, well, they're getting under her skin a little bit, little Miss Roxy. Referee's counting here. Could be a count out if she's not careful. Be an awful way for her to go out of this tournament. Up to four. Oh, no, Miss Roxy, just taking her time, just getting her uh, her spirit back. Violet O'Hara just comes out to greet her, but oh no! Oh wow! Little Miss Roxy just grabbed that leg, took the opportunity as it presented itself, and look at this. Just absolutely taking the most of that opportunity as Violet O'Hara knees her in the stomach fighting back here sweeps the leg that time oh she's going for a single leg crab oh that's brilliant she's got that synced in so well just that reach of the ropes it's good positioning Violet O'Hara calling out in pain 
trying to get the crowd going. Oh, she's really fine to get to the rope this time. Vala Hara, can she make it to the rope? Will she tap? She's inches away. Little Miss Roxy has got that synced in so well, just wrecking the leg there. She is just centimeters away. Vala Hara, can she make the rope? She's so close to it. Oh, that is, look at the position. That is just the, the torque on the back of the leg must be awful. And she just rams the knee down to the canvas. Tell her under canvas is just wooden planks and little beams. It's just, you know, you don't want your knee smashed off it. But this is just brutal here from Little Miss Roxy. Really working the leg now. Just slamming that knee down in every different direction. Vala O'Hara looking quite strong early on in this match. Uh, again, just takes the leg out. Vala O'Hara is just on the receiving end here too. Manages to kick out though. Desperately, just trying to get the crowd going. Just to help her fight through the pain. And look at this, what is Little Miss Roxy got? Oh my goodness, slamming that knee down once again into the canvas. Brutal, and you can see the smile on Little Miss Roxy's face. She's enjoying this. Sadism, oh! Breaking back now. Violet O'Hara responds to the crowd. Massive clothesline. Almost took her head off with that. Drags around with the arm. That's brilliant. That's real. Oh, look at this. Real armbar. Oh my goodness, look at that stretch. She's like like a Wookiee. She's trying to pull her arms out of her socket. That is crazy. Violet O'Hara. Nasty looking maneuver there. And she stays right on the arm. And she goes for the, oh, she goes for the roll up. That's a brilliant crucifix pin. Oh, I've seen that in a while. Great move. Sweeps the leg again though. Little Miss Roxy, so intelligent, just working on that knee. It's something that we in CCW attribute to uh, the human shot wrist reflex in the way that he methodically works over a leg. Oh, look at this! Almost a modified figure four that time. God, that is brilliant from Little Miss Roxy. And the purest among us might consider that attack. I don't know. Violet O'Hara is in a bad way in the ring right now. Little Miss Roxy has that move absolutely synced in. Oh, she turns it around. I thought she might be going for a Texas Club, I believe. Club to the small of the back. And again, just all over that weakened knee. Single leg crab sitting right on her. That is awful the way she wrenched that leg back. Little Miss Roxy is in complete control right now. Violet O'Hara is in a very bad place. Oh! Fights back again though, every time, every time we write her off, she fights back. Big forearm shots. Irish whip turns around, slams the face down to the mat. Viola O'Hara, second, third win this one, I think. Irish whip reversed into the turnbuckle. Little Miss Roxy charges in, but she misses. Here's the roll up. Viola O'Hara doesn't get a one count. Goes for, oh, massive front face DDT. One, two, three. Little Miss Roxy takes the win here. Well, what a match that was. That was frenetic. Really enjoyed that. And you can see why these two come with such a, a well-earned high reputation. Little Miss Roxy takes the win. The crowd, I mean, frankly, they're applauding because that was such a good match. I love that single leg crowd. Worked the knee over fantastically. You can't argue with that. But I tell you what, Violet O'Hara gave an awesome account of herself. Full of heart, full of determination. Unfortunately, she won't be progressing in this tournament. But she goes out with everyone's uh, respect and admiration. We've got women here, and that tends to take precedence. It certainly does, not some right. Right, who's this Mason Tombs? This is uh, one of the greatest wrestlers in the UK today. This is Ruby Summers. Tell you what, if Mason Tombs says that, that is some uh, compliment. Ruby Summers, not happy uh, with that young man's hat? Well, no one is. I've seen a little bit of Ruby Summers in other uh, companies, and frankly, she was awesome. So, really? She was really that good? Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this. 
did a tiny bit of research, you know, I'm not just just the pre face. Well, I'm not pre-face. You are just the pre face. Thanks, please. That's the only reason I keep you around. Ah, I appreciate that. I'll take that. Ruby's wow, Ruby Summers. I can do that. Neck. No, can you? Yeah, easy. Yeah, can't can you? No. Anyway, Ruby Summers makes an entrance. So I mean, this is I mean, you know, Ruby Summers is someone that could win this trophy. Definitely. I mean, if you're gonna put your money on anyone, it's this woman. She would balance that money well. But who will be in her way in this match? Is this the semi-final? Am I right? This saying? is the this is the second semi-final. We saw um, there's Little Miss Roxy and Violet O'Hara. Little Miss Roxy went through in that one. Yes. Yes, that's definitely so. Jamie wow. Sparks now returning. She's only had, she couldn't have been more than quarter of an hour's, quarter of an hour, quarter of an hour's time yeah. to uh, prepare for that. And I'm sorry, I was doubting my own words right. That's okay, mister. You don't need to do that, channel. You can say whatever you want. But I tell you what, this on paper should be a fantastic match. Ruby Summers versus Jamie Sparks. That's a lot of talent in the ring. I'm including Lee, our ref, in that. Yes, uh, ref Lee Crew, he's uh, one of the best referees in the game. Oh, what an ovation for Jamie Sparks. Jamie Sparks is, is, you know, one of the best up and coming wrestlers. She really is, I mean, you know, she's making waves. Everyone's sitting up and taking notes. She's making more waves than the wave machine. And I really like wave machines, right? I've not been in the wave machine since 1994. Right. That's long overdue, I think. I think so, I'm planning to go on this year at some point. Tropicana, Western Superman, it was. Wow. It's nice. Club Tropicana. No, no, just just um, a massive vat of Tropicana <laughs> in the factory. No, it was a uh, Tropicana and Western Superman. It's uh, like a um, swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, basically. With, with a wave machine. With a wave machine. Nice. Slides. I love that. Yeah. We, when when is CCW going to hold an event in a, in a, in a swimming pool? WCW style. Yeah, with someone getting helicoptered in. Anyway. Back to CCW, fight the Valkyries. Yeah, I've done it what this WCW of which you speak, but I can hear it's very good. Oh, I'll tell you what, the kids of today probably would agree with you. Actually, yeah. It's a shame of the uh, the volcano that occurred earlier, which means so many few people can make it to our show this evening. Yeah, and the earthquake. That made the river implode, it mentioned. That made the volcano. Yeah. It's been a bad day in North Wales. It's been Wales. a bad day in North Wales. But North nevertheless... Wales volcano eruption. <laughs> yes, of... of uh, no, April was never anymore. No. Real, there was, Yeah, there was a volcano in Brill. Did, did you? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 400 pounds worth of improvements. Wow. Well, Ruby Summers seems to be telling that young man to get in the ring and wrestle for him. I don't think he's allowed to wrestle in a women's tournament. It's been get, well, you see, he's a man. It's quite disparaging of Ruby Summers, really, to intimate that uh, he should get in the ring and wrestle. Maybe questioning his gender, I don't know. Well, Ruby oh, Summers, and she's got that person's... As just finger, but not their real finger, their phone finger. Phone finger, sir. Ruby Summer is just not happy. Oh, oh. she's throwing around children's foam fingers. That's a uh, Genghis Khan level of brutality, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Genghis Khan was well known for his foam finger thinking. Yeah, it was. Seriously, there's a lot of talent in the ring, though. I can't wait for this match. Ruby Summers is just not happy. She's walking out of the arena right now, Mason. She's Jim. gone. I mean, she's fully what, gone. The referee is showing a lot of discretion, really. Yeah, isn't he? he's yeah. letting it go. He couldn't be counting right now. I suppose the match hasn't technically started, so this is. Well, I'm thinking the bell is rung, and I think, I think the ref is just waiting for for something to happen. I mean, I don't think he just wants to count the three and go home, doesn't he? Yeah, he just wants, he's got a bucket of chicken, that's what we're paying you. No, the bell hasn't rung, I'm very sorry. That's all right, The bell rings now. Well, this match is a goal, and this is the semi-final, the second semi-final of CCW Fight the Valkyries for the Folk Vanguard Trophy, as Summers straight in the offensive here on Sparks. Just wrenches it, oh, massive forearm shots, right to the chest, knocking the air out of the lungs. Comes off the opposite turn buckle, smashes in, oh, massive forearm shot. Oh, right to the face. Snap there. That's the worst face to be forearm. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Oh, massive kick right to the base of the spine. Those kidneys. 
Yeah, are gonna be. She might be pink blood. That's right. Nice. That's dark. Sorry. She reads true. It is. That's, that's dark. <laughs> that is like oh, face to the canvas. Oh, oh, Ruby, Ruby Summers in control here. One, two. No, I'm sorry, but you know, these are genuine possibilities. You know? I really like Jamie Sparks' gear. Do you think that I should wear gear similar? Only you could carry that off, Mason Tubbs. I think I might try. Pink with kind of a gold hue. Oh, I do like the word hue. Well done. Thank you, sir. That's why you employ me. Look at this from Ruby Summers. Flipping, eh? There's Choke. places in there. Yeah, absolutely choking a face off. Kevin Nash could do that because he's about eight feet tall, but Ruby Summers... Kevin Nash tall. would only need to, like... Really do that, he just lifts his leg, leg to our knee height to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Ruby Summers has to persuade the ref to count. <laughs> but uh, Sparks, you know, just flung out to the ring here. Oh, uh, the apron, sorry. I mean, the ref, the ref didn't really want to want to do like a count out for this tournament. I mean, we, 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 it's, in, it's technically not against the rules, he can count people out, but I think he knows that the fans here at uh, Clan Fairbecken, to why you wouldn't see the Fort Vanguard trophy. Only. They, they want a, a clear finish and she's just screaming at him. Not the first woman to scream at Lee. He is a, a suave gentleman. And once again with that massive choke. And look at the, the torque that's put him on the neck of Sparks. I mean, my goodness. He didn't prove anything in the court case, of course. but you know. No, but he was still, you know, allegations were thrown about. Massive shoulders to the stomach here. Two body parts meet and one body part wins. Yeah, shoulder versus stomach. Oh, oh my straight goodness. Straight in and that back is getting worked over. Oh. Tell Ruby Summers is in control she's here. She's really working on the back and the neck. You know, that is why she's Sorry. one of the best wrestlers in the UK today. What a suplex. That was tight as a nut. Fantastic. One, two, two only. Again, this is another match that could have been the final. Indeed it could. Indeed it could. You're quite right, that's right. There's so much talent throughout this tournament. We're She's privileged to have. Her off. I mean, poor old James. Oh. Just hit. What's Hang this? A second. Oh, oh. need defeat. Same again. That can't. Could that be all one, one two, two, three? Oh, 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 oh no way! That is incredible. A shock victory. Well, not a shock victory. She's very talented, but a shock in the sense of that was one-way traffic, and then out of nowhere she's hit oh. that. Wow. I am in, I am I am shot. Jamie Sparks out of nowhere hit that eight defeat. Oh, and hey, she's trying to argue with the ref. Jamie Sparks goes through though. You can argue all you want, Ruby Summers. I'm very sorry, and I am. But Ruby, where Jamie Sparks goes through into the final, incredibly. That was three. I, you know what? I I think she's a very very talented wrestler, but I think that's it for Jamie Sparks this evening. There's there's no way that she's oh kicking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CCW Fight the Valkyries. Coming to the room right now. Well, sorry, before that, I am Chocolate Payne Nelson Wright. Alongside me is the chairman of CCW, the legendary Mason Toombs. Good evening. Mason Toombs coming to the ring right now. It's G-Force. G-Force here. Now this guy is a monster. Wearing a custom t-shirt. Who designed that? That's really good. That's very swish. But G-Force is an absolute he monster. Look at the size of it. Whoa, that's for you, Mason Tombs. Well, Whoa. That's well. Well, I never. Wow. I'd be scared. I'm, I am scared. He was talking to you and I'm scared. I think he was pointing at you, to be honest. <laughs> Don't say I that, damn it. He stole his last packet of walkers. I wouldn't he do that to you. He and onion ones. You know that. G-Force, I wouldn't do that to you, mate. Don't listen to Tombs. I wouldn't steal your packet of cheese and onion. This is G-Force coming to the ring. G-Force doesn't like you talking about his packet. I tell you what. Wow, that's like a, a bell up. What's that? Yeah. That's he's got a mystery opponent this evening. All oh, right. He's got he's words for the looks of it. Got the uh, mic. But all you morons, it's not the last one, don't you? Really, I'm here. So, tonight, 
hate when Jesus is this kind of move because it's scary, basically. Look at this guy. He's, look what he's doing to the ring. He's always in this sort of mood. Good. He's shifting. Right, who, who's this? This is a very special guest so I've picked him personally. Look at those muscles on his neck. What are they called? Traps. <laughs> I don't care what they are. <laughs> who is this? This is Alex Henry. Alex Henry, of course. He's a real man. Excuse me. Alex Henry here ringside. That uh, laptop computer here making all sorts of noise. He is a beast of a man. Uh, there's two huge men in this. I mean, look at him. Alex Henry's absolutely massive. We've not seen him in CCW before. They're making his CCW debut today. He's got an incredible look to him, you have to say. He certainly has. But look at G-Force. Absolutely claiming the ring as his own, isn't he? Stalking it. He's just no wasted movement. He's getting under his skin a bit now, though. Talking trash to him. So G-Force is someone, I mean, he's you know, a Super 8 semi-finalist, I mean, he's been involved in the title scene. He, uh, you know, under the management of Dick Chambers, not here tonight, interestingly, Dick Chambers. He's apparently, he's away signing new talent. Wow. That is, well, interesting. He never sits still, that guy, Chambers. He's always on the look. He's always on the move, that man. He's like a little hobo. He is, yeah. But he's not homeless or a dog. And his, his intro music isn't quite as fetching. I do like the music. It's yeah, good, it? it is good, yeah. You should come out to no, I'm not going to sing it. I was going to sing it, bro. Well, these two squaring up here. Check this out. No, you know what? They're, they're about the same size. and They really are, aren't they? They're huge guys. You know, Alex Henry's a big guy, but you know he's giving away a lot of weight to G-Force. He's just a big man. He's he disobeys gravity. Planets orbit him. I think mean, it's probably likely in the very near future that championships will probably over this guy because G-Force oh. as he just shoves him across the ring Alex Henry shoves him right oh, back and you know why it takes some might to move G-Force yeah you know that to push him across the ring like G-Force is getting agitated oh. you can see his movement his, yeah. his, his, his fingers you know he's a dangerous man oh it's a headlock jump inside like a headlock I like that that's it I mean so you know what, when you find a big man, it's difficult to pull them into a headlock. You need yeah. to really jump at them and I take see. them. Right. I've got a look at that pushing the head away as well. Wow. Oh, oh. two immovable objects. And Alex Henry is enjoying this. I think Alex Henry is enjoying the challenge of G-Force. Yeah, G-Force is just, well. Wow. Here he goes. Oh, oh he stumbles. Me. But G-Force isn't used to having uh, a challenge like this, and this is why I picked Alex Henry. Interesting that you picked him as well. I mean, you know, you've got a kind of a history with uh, G Force, certainly. There's a lot of kind of, you know, there's a background there, certainly, of violence. Yeah. So, what was your thought process, really? What are you trying to pick someone who can defeat G Force? G Force, you know, I've defeated G Force myself, and it's me. That's a dropkick, Oh, take him off his And a second. And again. Knocking down G Force. G Force out to the floor G-Force here. G Force doesn't know what hit him. I, I wanted someone who could. Um, who could really sort of like go toe to toe with him. I mean, I've beaten G-Force personally. G-Force has lost to lighter wrestlers. You know, you may remember um, AJ Hughes beat him in the, the Super 8 Cup yes. final last year. That was, you know, that was under special circumstances, you have to say. I mean, AJ Hughes was inspired that day. Yeah, he, de- he definitely was. And, and you know, I, he's never had to tackle a big muscular wrestler like this man. That is true, but you know, people that size are few and far between. I mean, so it's interesting. I mean, especially without Dick Chambers here, his manager, and you know, how many times has Dick Chambers changed the game in G Force's favour? Definitely. I mean, we've always said that. He you know, grabs him by oh. the head. There. Oh, that's the intelligence of uh, G Force, though. Yeah. Look at him like a cat Ooh, straight yeah. on him. Straight on him that time, G Force. Double axe handle for the back. Has, has, has been lenient with his count today. He's been ordered to be lenient. He's, he's sort of like he's starting his count now. But Does that come from you? Yes, really. I want a nice. I want uh, to be you right here. I want a nice fair finishes. Right. Oh wow, that's interesting coming from you. G force. Well, not fair, but decisive. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cheat them if they want, but you know, at least cheat decisively. Yeah. Make it obvious that you want. Yeah. yeah. Huge uppercut that time. G force is rocking, and there's nothing you say that about him, man. I've seen you chasing him with a little pitchfork as well. I've hit him with a chicken. You have hit him with a chicken. I remember that. Season's beatings. 
That's right. Yeah. Oh, rolls back. Oh, it breaks, breaks the count. Good, good, good thinking. Yeah. Oh, G-Force takes the opportunity though. And smashes that face. You know, Alex Henry knows ring presence. Yeah. Um, you know, he's very good at stuff like that. I mean, I'd say, look at G-Force. He's just taken a barrage from uh, Alex Henry. And he's just, he's, you know, he's panting a bit, but he's right back on his feet and he's in control of this one again. You know what? He's the thing about G-Force is that he. He, you know, you've seen guys, other guys like in, um, in, in CCW, now. and they, they they get very tired oh, very easily. Goodness, the impact on that! Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but G-Force takes his time. He paces himself. Yeah. He drags his opponent down to he controls the match. He controls the, the pace of the match completely, and yeah. that's what a what an uppercut flipping. Eh? That's and, huge, and that's uh, that. That I mean, you know, I do respect him for that, but I, I don't have to like him for it. it it's kind of ring management, you, you'd say, really, isn't it? Yeah, and I think part of Chambers, that's been part of Chambers' thing. Irish whip, reverse. Oh, right into that ring post. Alex Henry hit hard. He's down. He's wow. not looking well. I mean, we might have to call the paramedics. I think he took that face first. He did. See. Yeah. Is he busted open? He's not. I don't think, but. Ref's counting here. It's merciless. It's brutal, but that's wrestling for you. Alex Henry is just down. Um, well, the fans willing Henry to get back in the ring. G Force is just taunting. And G Force as obviously thinks he's got this one. I can say he feels quite confident. Doesn't and it? to be honest with you, you know, maybe he has. I mean, it's so smart, you know, that he's just standing in the ring, taking his time. He's getting his breakfast back. But Henry to his credit, ah, oh, he's knocked right back down to the floor. He just about managed G-Force it. G-Force wants to take this by count out. He, he, I'm not sure he's... I mean, he's the master of the choke slam. I mean, this yeah. guy, Alex Henry, has got a bit more weight to the guys that he's been choke slamming over the past few months. That's right. Maybe he's more confident of taking uh, a, a count out loss as opposed to a pinfall. I also think that G-Force, under the tutelage of uh, Dick Chambers, is really just his, his intelligence. He just wants to win. He doesn't have to prove anything to anyone. No, often, he's, often he's, Dick Chambers will, will cite G Force as being a minus like monster out of control, and we did see him out of control back in November. Yes, but right. he, you can tell that there's a thought process going on. Absolutely, he's far from mindless. He's a calculated wrestling machine, is G Force. As he just and, and that's the worst kind of like the, the guy who's thinking. It's scary when they're looking at you across the ring. They're thinking how they can hurt you. Yeah, absolutely, and that is G Force, isn't it? I mean, that's G Force all around. He's, he's got a show. Referee needs to get in there. Frankly, he'll be a test guy thinking how he can hurt the cashier. He'd be at Tesco thinking everything about everyone. Yeah, and that, that. We should the be good. Yeah. The Pope Queen. <laughs> wow. Heads of state and religion aren't such a Oh, he runs into a big boot on that square in the chin. Alex Henry, I don't know. Oh, another one. And a second. Up to the going? second turnbuckle. Oh, what oh, a boss he, body. He's what? Going. Oh, he slams him down. Oh, my goodness. G Force won. Oh. Only gets a one count, but he didn't catch him much on that slam. Just kicks him down, but I tell you what, how did G-Force even just, it's only, he slipped a little bit, but he caught him, you know, that, yeah. what power to catch him, incredible, as he stands on his neck now, you know, suplexes and, you know, DDTs and stuff don't work, standing on a man's standing neck. Standing on a match, you're going to win a match by standing on someone's neck. Have you won a match like that, Mason Tombs? I've not, no, actually, um, but you know, I'm, I'm, until my recent years, I've become quite, I've been quite slight. Right, in my, my salad days, I've become slightly podgy. I, I see. Relations of Mason Jones. The memoirs. The memoirs of two. That's a book. That's a book, isn't I'm it? I'm currently writing it. Nice. Well, G-Force perhaps distracted a little bit. Alex I mean, Henry. He does get distracted by the fans. That's one of G-Force's main problems. Kick in the stomach. Massive oh. chop. Oh my oh, goodness, that'll take your nipples off. Oh. Big, big chops. <laughs> like a crash dead dummy. Oh, Massive look at the speed of that snap. Oh god. Oh. Kick to the, the shoulders that time. And this could be all one, two. Oh. I tell you what, what a coup this should be for uh, Alex Henry to. If he, I mean, he's not a new wrestler, you know, he's a seasoned professional wrestler. He's been around the block. He's, he's a wonderful wrestler, but if a break to the ice was before. But if Alex Henry on his CCW debut were to beat the big dog, the, the, the main one of the main men here, the head puncher, yeah, one of the head punchers. What anyway. kind of a statement is that for Alex Henry if he were to? Well, you know, I, I can't really say much on the matter. It's just to be really good. Yes, he would. It would be damn sweet. And I would personally like to see that, especially after his earlier comments and gesturing about something. Yeah, backstage. Yes. G Force. Ah, oh, big. Open-handed club to the top of the head. 
Irish whip. Oh, oh my goodness. Massive velocity. G for us. Oh, he's missed. Henry darts out of the way. Comes up the opposite turn buckle. Alex Henry. Oh, oh jumping clothesline. Irish whips G force into the opposite corner. And Alex another Henry, one. Look at the, the energy. He's got this. He's like a whirlwind then, Henry. Alex Henry. Oh, oh. Five shoulder block off the second. This could be all. One, two. Oh, oh. and you know, forgive me, but that barrage, that intense form of attack, I don't think G-Force has really been hit by anything like that in a while. No, you know what, he hasn't been. And I, I don't think G-Force knows what hit, what's hit him. Oh, oh no. Goes for the stunner. No, G-Force goes, oh, oh, get him with him. The the choke slam. Oh, 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 my oh, holy lord, oh. my choke slam. Oh, my god. It's over. Oh, oh Alex Henry! 2 is 2.9! No. Kicked out G-Force's chokeslam! No one has kicked out G-Force's chokeslam oh. ever! And did you see me chokeslamming right onto his head? On his head, the back of his head, dude! That was nuts! Good God! That was a choke driver! He just... I've never seen G-Force drill anyone as hard as he drilled Alex Henry! <laughs> and get? Alex Henry is still standing! Good God! Well, Who is this guy? This is incredible! He's not used to what he's going for now! Oh no! Oh, Scoop slams him down! G-Force is just out of energy. G-Force, oh my goodness, I think he's a bit shocked at the fact that he kicked me. And we all are. I mean, he sort of, he tried to go for a splash there, he didn't get all of it on. I think G-Force is... And this is why I think Chambers is so important to uh, G-Force, because it's times like this, yeah, okay, the joke slam hasn't worked, but this is when Dick Chambers would be distracting the ref, you know, throwing foreign objects into the ring for him, all sorts of stuff. Ah, uh, Henry manages to score him out of it. Oh, oh. stunner! One, could he do it? That's oh, it. my holy lord! And on his CCW debut, what? Alex Henry has defeated I... the monster. I, I cannot believe this dude. That is G-Force. Mason Tims, who is this guy that you picked? You've got to let us know. Well... Maybe in coming months we'll see more of Alex Henry, we'll just have to wait and see. I'll tell you what, that was an extraordinary performance from Alex Henry. To come into CCW on your debut and be, not to, to take the choke slam with you for and to somehow catch oh, him. Oh, he around, he disrespects. Wow. And I think, you know, I, I can only guess what happened there, but you know, after the choke slam, G Force just looked lost. Yeah. He was tired. He's, he's moved, he's made a move. Destroyer Matthews, the CCW Welsh Champion. He's been champion since 
August 2015. It's still raining. He's um, currently the longest reigning CCW champion. I think, is he? I don't know if he's actually. I'll have to double check my fingers. I think he is. Um, Mr. Williams there. He's currently the, uh, the top really, he's, he's currently really contender for the belt. He's ranked second in CCW. Right. Of course, he's ranked first. So these are the, the two top men. It's the Hot 25, the Power 25. I don't see how that it's called on the website, but it, it bracket change depending on what wrestlers do. Yeah. Not just in and out of the ring, you know. Yeah. And his, his, his title shot has been long, long awaited. I mean, Mr. Williams has been asking for a title shot since yes. for a long time. And you know, to be fair, Wow, look at this ovation. The Keith the Destroyer Matthews. The fans love him here. They really do. Look at this. He has met every single fan in this room. <laughs> and um, the strange man in the corner. Wonderful. It's Keith the Destroyer Matthews. I'll never forget when he won this belt. How much you meant to him? Yeah, it you was know, his, his dream to be a champion. It was in this building, wasn't it? It was in this very building. It was in this building. How many months? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Eight months ago? Let's, let's, say, Eight months ago. Let's, let's say ten. Ten? Why not? Your decks are tripping, Nelson. Oh, absolutely. Keep the destroyer Matthews on the mic now, Mason, too. Let's he's hear what he's nine months, maybe. Nine months. So he's almost given birth to this match. If this match had been... If that belt had made him pregnant. Oh, we love you too. And we get... What can only describe this get the way of Yes, see how I'll keep the destroyer Matthew. You Mr. Williams, yeah. they look at him, you know, he's a school teacher, how tough can he be? This man is one of the top potential to be the CTW champion. You watch this match, he's one of the best technical wrestlers you could ever see. He's so good in the ring, he's smooth as anything. And he's fearless as well, I mean, you know, he, he's super smart, he's a real tough guy. When I say that, that triple threat that we talked about earlier, Big 50, Keith and Stroh Matthews and uh, Mr. Williams, I mean, Mr. Williams, Sean and and you know, I haven't shown him like some star power in the ring. Can. I mean, to get to, to, to survive past Big 50 yeah. is a, you know, you're a champion. That's yourself. something in the top line. Right. <laughs> That's pretty, a pretty big accolade. But yeah, as I, as I mentioned, I mean, you know, he could well have been the CCW Welsh champion already, you know. But as it is, he's been asking for this title, he's been asking you intensely for this title shot. And uh, it has been granted. So this is Mr. Williams' opportunity. Got there in the end, they got there in the end. And you know, a bit of fair in CCW, I think you know, Mr. Williams has earned that. They've, uh, you know, I think the ref has made the decision to ring the bell, even though Mr. Williams isn't in the ring, because he's just... It's controversial. It, it, well, it's it's a bit of a run do. I don't know if that can actually... Whether that's... Allowed. But mm, wow. I, think he's, I think he's just that annoyed with his attitude. I mean, I suppose he's the boss out there, isn't he? I don't know, I mean, he's, he's, I, I, the referee is definitely in charge of this arena. Yeah, but he's got to abide by the law. He can't just make the, it. The, the law? Yeah, wrestling. The wrestling law. The wrestling law? What is it? You I go know. to the European courts, I'm sure, somewhere. The wrestling rights. Right. Yes. In Nuremberg. Yeah, or Brussels. <laughs> no, they're having a different place, don't be silly. Right. I mean, what are the wrestling police going to come over? Maybe, maybe. This is why Brexit is so important. 
Mr. Williams finally. Oh no, he's teasing that into the ring. But see, this is Mr. Williams in his pump because he, he plays games, this man. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I've, I think he's fully aware that oh, making, they're being attacked by a child. Making Mr. Wayne a minute, keep it destroyed, Matthews. What's going on, Matthews? Oh, oh double axe handle to the back. He's got him in a full knee. Oh my oh. goodness! What? That is surely a disqualification! I, I think the ref is playing fast and loose with the rules. Technically, the match hasn't started, although he's rang the bell. My goodness! The fans throwing him back in the ring. The Bazinga army there, really getting involved in this match. They just absolutely combo with Mr. Williams. The Bazami. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen someone get so many punches quicker than he Honda that man yeah like a hundred hand slap yeah he could destroy a car yeah kick, 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 I'm, I'm doing the, the hundred you, hand you are slaps. doing it very well as Keith the Destroyer Matthews here the CCW Welsh Champion takes it to the number one contender here at CCW Mr Williams squeezing the face now Mr Williams asked for this match he might be regretting it right now who knows big shoulder charge right into the stomach of Mr. Williams. What condition will he be in for his class? Forearm shot to the side of the head. Takes Mr. Williams down to the mat. It's Keith the Destroyer, Mr. Bazinga. Side headlock, take over, takes him all the way down. You know, I just realized, Mr. Williams wrestles in his glasses. Did you not realize that? No, that's awesome. How can you see without him? He's making him hit himself in the ring. That's him, that's bullying. He's bullying his teacher. That's incredible. But surely it gets into some sort of war. Oh, this is why. Anyway, just hitting him. Some sort of his own. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, just gets the hair, Mr. Williams. Anything to break the hold. Yeah, again, just breaking the face back. Ah, oh, head scissors from Mr. Oh, Williams. He's done well to get out of that. Yeah. Oh, and he just hits him. Just slaps him on the stomach. Well, just hangs out. That will work. Oh, and he's making him hit himself. Slapping himself in the forehead. I, I, I love pro wrestling. Oh, oh, I'm glad otherwise if you loved like ping pong then you'd come here for the wrong reason. thing. Why are you making me commentate Mason to come? Well, the lift is coming up, that's interesting. Conway County ping pong. Destroy with an air fall there. Could have ended the match. This match is for the CCW Welsh Championship. Headbutt from uh, Destroyer there. Williams backed into a corner, Irish whip. Oh, straight over into the other corner. Destroyer charges in. Oh, oh runs into a big boot from Mr. Williams. And he's all fingers and thumbs. And Williams now. Slap. Smacked him in the back of the head, I've lost my words. Like some kind of velociraptor, he's just oh, right on it. Wrenching that random rope. God, that's awful, look at that. That could dislocate his elbow. And as we often discuss in commentary basically, if the man oh. can't lift you for a bazinga bomb, he can't apply his finish. Well, you've got to remember, like, Keith has got a brand new uh, finisher as well. Oh, right. right. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but... Uh, How will I know it's happening? Well, you'll just have to guess. <laughs> All right, there it is! <laughs> That's not it. From Mr. Williams. <laughs> you didn't take your snapmare as a finisher. <laughs> well... Who knows? It could be reverse tactics. Uh, let me know if you think you see the, the finishing manoeuvre. I'm going to guess... Okay. But he, he, still, he will steal the arm for it though, so okay. maybe he should have had another finishing maneuver, who knows. These wrestlers and their finishing maneuvers, look at this. Do you think footballers should have finishing maneuvers? Oh. Um, to finish their goals? Yeah. yeah, I mean they do, don't they? I mean like a volley is a finishing maneuver. I know, but everyone has that. Oh, okay. So Seems you mean like, to me that everyone has Ronaldo a has a spinning half volley. Yes, like yes, exactly. <laughs> Says the making of a wonderful game. <laughs> My, well, FIFA Street sounds like that kind of thing. Anyway, there's a title match happening. Back at I'm just elbow. You're getting off point. Yeah, you're you're getting really off bad point. at that, Tim. Look at how Mr. Williams is working over that elbow. Just driving the knees right into the elbow, and Keith didn't like it. Who was it? No, he came we? into my house at night and started driving his knee into my elbow. What are you I doing, Mr. Williams? Read this, please. Why are you That's Tuesday. Wait. He's really annoying. He's cover again. Oh, and I tell you what, Keith the Destroyer is doing really well to kick out of this because, I mean, he's what? I think Mr. Williams is trying to teach the ref how to count. But again, look at this testament to Mr. Williams after taking that barrage from uh, Keith the Destroyer Matthews. He's turned this match around. He's in control of it now. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, it looked like it was all one-way traffic, but no, this is... Mr. Williams in his element right now, as he just wrenches that arm over the bottom rope. I actually think the teachers' union um, and teachers across the country will be rooting for Mr. Williams. Yeah, I, I, I'd go with that. The abuse that he dishes out to children, I think secretly, inwardly, teachers probably would say, yeah, you I think teachers love it. Yeah, I think so. I think this is what all teachers like, really. You know what Dig happens down. if they go in that, that teacher's lounge? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it coming, do we call it a teacher's lounge? Yeah. Why not? I don't yeah. know. I don't staff room? Oh, it's different from stuff, right, okay. Oh, no, 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 I think it's the same thing. It's okay. Same. Teacher's lounge sounds like a bar. I'm going to the teacher's lounge. <laughs> so no one can go there. That's no, awful. I know. I'm going to learn that. They have, like, desks and tables and they'd be like... It's really nice. brightly lit. It's got strip lighting. Bad yeah. strip lighting. Yeah. And there's, a, there's, there's pencils and protractors and crap like that. Instead of a lemon slice, they put a protractor on the glass. Keep the destroyer flying back here, massive clubbing blows! <laughs> These two just couldn't... Oh. The protractor, Rahi! Why not, Mason 2? <laughs> massive Irish whip, again into the shoulder though! You're gonna want to do that now. <laughs> we should open that bar. Here's a couple, one, two, again! And you know what? Keep the destroyer's kick out. If you notice, he's not just kind of just getting a shoulder loose. He's actually physically pushing Mr. Williams up. He so is, yeah, he really is. It's almost like a statement, like saying, yes, I'm hurt, but I'm not going to, you know, go along with it. I, re I refuse to accept that I'm injured. I, I refuse to accept this. And that's the fighting spirit right there of Keep the Destroyer athletes. And that's why he's CCW World Champion right now. Yeah, he is the champion. But I have to say, that championship is in threat right now because Mr. Williams is all over him. Like a Far Eastern rash. Look well, at this. That's the worst kind of rash. Have you ever had that? No, thank goodness. Shanghai, oh no. That's what I call it. <laughs> Massive chops here from Mr. Williams, just sizing him up. Oh, he blocks it. Oh! oh look wow. at the, <laughs> the man's got glasses. That is, you can't hit a man with glasses. Oh, he's just wrenching. What's he got? Oh, big shot. Keith the Destroyer Matthews and Mr. Williams is in serious pain. He's not feeling great, I, I will say that. I'll tell you what, they've got a massive headbutt there, I'll tell you. They don't call them knife edge chops or nothing as well. They, they don't, they, they can cut you wide open. You often see in wrestling, but... Oh, another massive knife edge chop. <clears throat> and credit to Keith the Destroyer Matthews, he's turned this match around. The CCW Welsh Championship title match. The title is on the line here at CCW Fire the Valkyries as Mr. Williams crawls, crawls He's for safety. He's trying to get away. He's, he'll find no mercy here in CCW. It's. <clears throat> He's just standing on the ankle now. Just standing on the ankle. Keep the destroyer Matthews. Just kicks him on the bottom, for goodness sake. But. The Keep the good, good call on the word bottom, right? Well, you have to censor yourself. Don't hear that much anymore. No, we're, well, we're not in England, I suppose, but English. Just hey, sizing, sizing up that bottom. Oh. <laughs> Another soccer strike to the to the uh, to the cheek. That's that's a goal, I'd say. Certainly, yeah. He laced it. Oh. Another massive chop. Chops him right in the chest. And Mr. Williams. He I can't mean, get a reef under that tie, you know, as well. No, he no. can't take it back. He sweated in it now. Well, I suppose that too. It's just been chopped. Yeah. Oh no! He's opened him up to the Bazinga Army! Oh! oh woo. Children, Big chop from that child! I don't think children should be allowed to chop grown ups. No, I don't think so. Never. I think that's particularly disrespectful to a teacher. To, oh! Thumb to the eye from Mr. Williams. Just out of nowhere, just turns it back around. Big shoulder charges. And you know. Nothing fancy in that, just really just brutalising your opponent. Oh, wrenches the arm. Wrenches the arm oh. and keeps down. God, that looked horrible, that That'll did. will take your elbows off. Yeah. Shear them right off. Oh, leg drop to the arm. I love that. And he's got it locked in. Oh, that's nasty. And we he could can... have a new champion here. The ref looks like it looks down at Keith. We could have one champion and one armless man. That could be the same. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. I was going to say it could be the same man. But, if, um... but yeah, that's not, that's not going to happen. Look at this, Mr. Williams. He is trying his best to wrench that arm off. And, you know, throughout this match, look at the intelligence of Mr. Williams. He's worked on that arm 
you know people laugh and they, they laugh at Mr Williams and they joke and but Mr Williams he's oh look at the ring but he's managed to wriggle Matthews back to the middle of the ring just as he was edging towards the ropes he's is. an incredibly intelligent wrestler and just because he's dressed in glasses and a tie you shouldn't underestimate him absolutely sir look at this he's still locked in that move and that forearm is bending around the back of his leg that is horrible well, he's going to have a bad day tomorrow let me tell you that Oh, he manages to get his rope, and he's still wrapped around oh, him. Like he needs kind to, of... I mean, he's not going to be playing badminton very often. No. After that, no. Not left-handed anyway. Oh, no, absolutely not. He's going to do anything left-handed. You better hope he has a wife. Uh, he um... For badminton practice. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes, of course. But um, Mr. Williams, you know, I still oh, work oh, on that. <laughs> quite simply, just smashes his hand just into the floor. Nothing fancy about it at all, but. Well, that would do. Go. That would certainly oh, do. Just stamps on the fingers. Keith the Destroyer, he's going to look like the Elephant Man after this. One massively small After man. this. Uh, you know what, if a man has hurt his fingers, he cannot punch. Just looking down at Keith now, observing him, making feel the most, as it were. Mr. Williams, Irish whip. Do you think this is funny? <laughs> no. Oh, a massive clothesline. He had to use his feet. Back elbow takes him right under the chin. And he's... I'm amazed his glasses stay on so well. <laughs> and now that you think about it, massive scoop slam from Keith the Destroyer Matthews calling on the Bazinga Army off the ropes. Oh. Oh. oh, he missed. He caught it in his, his back. He didn't he's... quite catch him as he wanted with that. He just, he, you know, he was aiming for a lot more, but Mr. Williams just managed to roll out. He was aiming to slam him well on his head. I'm not slamming on his head. I'm keep saying slam for everything. Oh, oh wait a minute. He's got the board. Brett, Brett, you need to stop that referee. He's got his clipboard. That, I mean, I don't care if he's got his SATS results on that. You can't use that in a ring. SATS don't mean anything right here. No, not to a wrestler. He's really sizing him up. Oh, referee steps in. That's brilliant. Well done, referee. Good referee. I mean, I'm not sure. No, that is, that that clipboard is made out of Adamantium. Iron. Adamantium yeah. clipboard. Everyone yeah. knows about the famous them. They're using yeah. schools now all the they time. They do, yeah, because it's self-defense for teachers. And what's he going for now? He's going in his coat pocket. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Williams, what is this? What has he got? What is that? I don't know. Oh, he just coshed him around the head. Dumps it at ringside. And that could be what? Two? Yeah. No! Oh! Right, I thought we had a new champion. Were you that close to having a new CCW World Champion? I don't um, even know what that was. Was wait, that a stapler or a, or a spoon or something? What or is a, that? A corkscrew? A spatula? Don't know. Why do they have that shiny in school? Some metal? A ruler? I don't know, but a he hit something. A metal protractor. Yes, okay, yeah. A square rectangular one. Uh, an oblong. An oblong thing. A silver oblong. He's still got his I don't know what it was, but he hit him with it. He hit him pretty good, but... And it wasn't enough. He's got him right in the corner now. Tell you what, that... Who knows what that's taken out of Keith the Destroyer Matthews. <clears throat> he's looking, as Aristotle once would say, knackered. Yeah, famously said that, didn't he? Oh, oh it's again! Him again. Okay. Ref! Oh, this is brilliant tactics from Mr. Williams. It's, it's oh. horrible to see. One, two! Oh, my holy lord! Mason Tombs! Are you for real? I, I don't know what I'm seeing here, right here. The bell hasn't rung. No! Oh my own drama here at CCW! A new champion, everyone is shocked. I. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, hang on! Referee spots. It was a full on wrench. A wrench? Is it a wrench? I don't know, it's too shiny, I can't see. Well, that's I'm, too, I'm, I'm too excited. Oh, the ref takes the belt off him, he's reversed the decision. Oh my goodness. The official announcement there. The ref, this is drama. Oh, I tell you what. Palpitations there, Mason Toombs, because I thought we had a new CCW World Champion. And I did as well. I was dumbfounded. 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 Dumbfounded, sir. I tell you what, Lee the ref, he's uh, he's shown some serious cojones there. 
to uh, reverse the decision in front of all these fans. Well, there's nothing else he could do after he saw that, that, that wrench or that metal object. But you know, he, he could have fallen from the rafters. A fan could have thrown him. He, there's some, some, some call that is. Oh, hang on a second. Matthews! Bazinga oh. bomb! Okay, he's going to do another one. Wow! Well, one. he's well annoyed. I think, as you mentioned earlier, he made it personal when he attacked his friends. So this is, this is just... Another crashing Bazinga bomb from Keith and Destroy Matthews, the CCW Welsh Champion. And this has been a heck of a match, I tell you what. And those children at ringside showing no sympathy whatsoever. Keith and Destroy Matthews retains his belt in very controversial fashion, I have to say. Probably justice was done, I have to say, because justice was done in the end, yeah. Gets an ovation here from the fans. But Mr. Williams, I mean, for a moment he was in paradise. He thought he had made it. He thought he had made it to the dance, and he had made it to the dance. He had he not just made it here. He had the, wow. Fearing victory for Mr. Williams. And the woman stealing his coat. Wow! Brazenly nicking his coat. Well. Slam her back and play. <laughs> Amazing tunes. Well, I don't know what goes on here. I've never been here before. With the earthquake and all that ones. Yeah, and the tsunami earlier as well. The tsunami was bad. Yeah, that was tsunami terrible. was bad. That's why there's so few people here. Keep this man Matthews. Yeah, exactly. We should be mounting rescue operations, really. But instead, we're not we trained mountain rescue people. We're not. We're save, wrestling people. We're not saving we our jobs. Job. We're not carrying whiskey around our necks. I do. do oh. That's a personal preference, though, to be quite honest. Not to save others, to save yourself. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, quite so, sir. Don't drop it, though. He dropped it last time. Don't drop Did it he? Again. Yeah. Shades of when he won his title here in Clan Fair Feckham. It's no need to be offensive. Sorry, Mason James. Trophy, Rahi. This is incredible. The first ever uh, Welsh female wrestling tournament. In and this North is Wales, the final. In North Wales. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sure. Miss Roxy. And she's been devastated. She's been so good. I mean, earlier in her match, when she had that single leg crab on, um, I think it was uh, Lucy Snow, wasn't it? It was Violet O'Hara. Violet O'Hara. She was one of the best single leg crabs I've seen. It was just absolutely. It was tough. really good, wasn't it? it was, I wasn't yeah. up there here with you. I was downstairs panicking, but it was one of the best single leg crabs that I've ever seen. It's brilliant because she was sat on her shoulders. That's how far she'd wrenched the leg back. In all seriousness, Rocky, right, this is this is why I wanted to put on this this women's tournament. It's so sad that there's so few people have come out to watch this evening, but women's wrestling. I'm sure you'll agree that when we were growing up was very much of a sideshow. I, I, you know, I look back at women's wrestling in sort of the 90s and the sort of early 2000s and we, we used to watch it and yeah. that was young when we got back into it. Uh, and you probably remember wrestlers like um, um, The Cat yeah. and uh, well, you know, Ivory, I, Ivory and you know, China and, like that and, and more so the sort of the late latter one, sort of Tory Wilson and, yes. and uh, Miss Hancock. Trish Stratus. Yeah, what Trish Stratus? She, she was, was, she very was very awesome. Yeah. But um, all too often it was all substance and no style with these wrestlers. And and really, uh, wrestling promotions like TNA have really pushed women's wrestling yeah. up the past 10 Pretty years. Massive. And, and now the WWE, they've just announced that their Divas title is going to be renamed the women's title. Yeah, absolutely. Showing a lot of respect and yeah. just acknowledging that female wrestlers are female wrestlers and not divas. I, I have to say as well, like you putting the final of this tournament above the CCW World Championship is a massive block of respect for my as well. Yeah, that that is it's completely what we, we planned. Um, I really wanted to sort of push these women into the spotlight. And I, I, I mean, was, let's that be that honest. I mean, it's not just a CCW. This is a nationwide thing. I mean, ladies wrestling is kicking up in a big way. There's so many talented wrestlers around. Yeah. Uh, we're privileged to have him here at CCW, it's an honour for us, but um, it's, it's a very special night really, because this is the only one for the rest of the world, because um, here we're 
highlighting and showcasing some of the very best wrestlers in the UK. Yeah, and I can't say any more, uh, anything more good about these people. I mean, they're great wrestlers. You can see them all around the UK. Just to sum up, we've got in the ring Miss Roxy, Jamie Sparks is coming out now. You've got Lucy Sky, Violet O'Hara, Ruby Summers. You can see these women wrestling all over the UK. Hey, they've got Lizzie Styles, they're massive. Lizzie Styles, you know what, I'm going to say a big um, hello to Dion Maxine who is currently very pregnant and uh, uh, she couldn't be here tonight because of the pregnancy, that's another thing oh, we about. Also, you know what, people like Jessica from Nadia Sapphire? You know, we had Jessica last year, Nadia Sapphire, they really started the, the women's revolution here in CTW. That was our first uh, women's match in CTW. Ever, yeah, ever. I mean, we're not that long of a com company, you know, we probably would have done that had we had the opportunity earlier, but it still was the first ever match. So, and I felt we needed to do that. Yeah. Um, just to give you a heads up, uh, you can see um, James Sparks working alongside um, Rob Paul Wrestling Academy famously. Yeah. Um, she, you can see her everywhere. She's she's just getting bigger and bigger. Um, she's done a lot of work with the, the Knights at the moment. You know the the, the famous wrestling family from Norfolk. Um, Miss Roxy. You can see on wrestling shows all around the country. Uh, I mean, just Google search it. I mean, like yeah, I'm trying to think. Stuff. I have, you know, we, we do do some research. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. But uh, I, I can't remember so many heads who who she's worked for. But you know, you know, personally, it doesn't take long to find this woman you'll see on other shows. Yeah, Violet O'Hara, fantastic. Yeah. Both these women, oh yeah, you know, and Ruby Summers have come a long way today. Yeah. I mean, every match tonight has been brilliant. Really, really good. Yeah, really you know what? Not you know, the turnout was low this evening. That's their loss. Absolutely. They have missed one of the best nights of wrestling ever and one of the best CCW shows. I mean, I love a wrestling tournament, um, you know, and this is a special one anyway. So, I mean, you know, it's a privilege for me to be here anyway. So, yeah. I mean, this is the final of the CCW Fight of the Valkyries for the Folk Vanguard Trophy. And, uh, well, we're going to crown a champion. We certainly are. It's going to be Little Miss Roxy or Jamie Sparks. Roxy expecting adulation but getting a few jeers there I have to say. Spark steps up and just gets a little browsing ovation. I think it's pretty decisive who the crowd want to win this. Okay, Miss Park steps up. Massive cheers. She's such a popular. Hang on a second. Oh, cheap shot from behind. From Little Miss Roxy. And just that massive choke again. Ref trying to break it up, snap me a takeover. Little Miss Roxy now grabs the hair. This is the final. This is the decisive match. This is the main event of the evening as well. And look at it, just mocks it, <coughs> mocking her. And some wonderful tattoos there. Yeah, looks as well. I, I, I do that. love tattoos and there's some, some, some wonderful ones there. Great. Little Miss Roxy, big kick to the stomach. And you've got to remember, Jamie Sparks has been, this is her third match this evening. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You know, I mean, this is Roxy's always done too. She, you know, Jamie's got to be running an empty by now. Yeah, absolutely. That match earlier, you know, she did suicide dives and all sorts. It must be taking a lot. That was the first match of the night. I mean, flipping out. Talk about, you know, not holding anything back. And, and the beating she took from Ruby Summers. I mean, Ruby yeah. Summers is one of the best wrestlers in the UK. Yeah. She took an absolute pounding. Oh, here's a roller. One. Ooh. Oh, one, just about. But again, I mean, that's the intelligence and uh, the sharpness of uh, Sparks because out of nowhere she just tried that roll up, you know? Yeah. You really have to watch her. Yeah, you she's, know what? She's, she's no slouch. She might want to get this done quickly and then she's just running from it. Just absolutely chasing her around the ring here. This and is they're doing laps. I don't think I would have gone around this much. I'm too tired. Get oh. dizzy. Oh, she just, just cuts her off. Uh, it's good tactics from uh, Little Miss Roxy that time. Just chase her. Standing, just watch, standing over her. That's, you know, we talked about this with G-Force earlier. You know, take your time with them. If you've mm. got them down, she can't get any momentum. She's, she's exhausted. Yeah, absolutely. Little Miss Roxy now. 
Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, oh look at that. She got a backbreaker. backbreaker. Love it. Good solid wrestling move. I love it. You can't go wrong with the backbreaker. No. You know, it's that pressure on your spine, it's just. I mean, you should exhaust him. Yeah, oh yeah, man. I mean, you know, the back is integral to everything. You can't walk, you can't lift, you can't do anything if your back's hurting. So. Everyone slept funny once in a while and hurt the back and just how debilitating it is. That, that is why. Oh, I'm look at in. this! It's like cattle mutilation. Oh, that's a beautiful maneuver. Oh, yeah, oh my is. holy lord! And look at how does anyone bend that? Oh, way? she not. That is incredible. What a wrestling move. The flexibility to put that on—that is fantastic. And, and Jamie Sparks could well tap here. Oh, she's trying to get to the room. Incredibly, that's I'm it. applauding that. Incredibly, she just managed to eke her way around to get her foot on the rope. Jamie Sparks manages to break the hold, but man, credit to Little Miss Roxy for that. That was fantastic. Love it. It's a head off the turnbuckle now. Little Miss Roxy in control of this. Oh, look at that show. Openly choking uh, Jamie Sparks that time. She's going for it again. Just placing the boot right in the neck. Big kick to the stomach. And this is what we were saying on our Twitter account. We were saying that Little Miss Roxy is one of the toughest wrestlers in the UK. And you're seeing it there, you know, it's merciless. Massive clothesline. No quarter given whatsoever. Another Irish whip into the opposite turnbuckle. Little Miss Roxy charges in. Oh, Jamie Spock rolls out of the way. Goes for the roll at one, two. Oh, she claims the win. That is awesome. Jamie Sparks wants it and she is our champion. Is she going? No, she's not going, but she's not happy. Jamie Sparks once again. Uh, this is her third match of the night and she is just trying in the CCW fight the Valkyries tournament. She will lift that wonderful gleaming trophy on the entranceway. Yes, the Falkvandar trophy. Nice try, Chris. It's not an easy word to pronounce, I'll admit. Go oh, on, the champions here to present the belt. The belt? The trophy, sorry. Well. Oh, and of course, Alex Henry's with him as well. Another winner for this evening. Yeah. Well, this is a nice touch to uh, have, you know, the top dog in CCW, the highest athlete, really, to come out and present this trophy to Jamie Sparks. Keith Destroyer being a super cheeky man. Oh, he's almost breaking that ridiculously expensive trophy. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Well, Jamie Sparks, I am so impressed, honestly. I, you know, we see all over social media how talented this lady is, and I'm very impressed, and I'm, I'm happy to say that she has won the CCW Fight of the Valkyries tournament. She lifts the Folk Vanguard trophy. Don't drop it, for God's sake, it costs loads of money. That is an awesome sight to behold. This is CCW, folks, that is Jamie Sparks. The Folk Vanguard. We've lost, we've lost enough money tonight, that's not the news, eh? A trophy worth thousands. No. <laughs> that is awesome. Ladies Applause from me. Congratulations, Jamie Sparks, the first ever winner of the CCW Folk Vanguard Trophy. Mason Dooms? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> it has been a sincere pleasure to commentate with you once as, again. As always, it's been oh, wonderful. I've enjoyed it very much. Love Thank it, you for shaking hands. It's been a pleasure. I'm Chocolate Payne Nelson Rahi. And I'm the CCW Chairman, Mason, Mason Toombs. And <laughs> Ethan Nelson Rahi, for some reason. <laughs> you! Next week, next time we'll swap it. I'll okay, we'll swap roles. Guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to the final match of the night.